Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row. Meteorologist Chad Raiflisberger. Well, a very fall-like look and feel to our weather across the area today. But some good news is that temperatures do get warmer and we see more sunshine by tomorrow. Right now, let's look outside on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera in Sturgeon Bay. These gloomy skies at the moment, 67 degrees, certainly looking a little like fall across the area. Much the same here in Green Bay. Good news, we are dry. There are a few isolated rain showers across the area. But here in Green Bay at the moment, uh, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 60s. Mid to upper 60s across the north, upper 60s and still some lower 70s in Fond du Lac and back towards Wapaka. 62 right now in Manitowoc and 66 in O'Connell and up in Menominee. A large view shows the real warmth now well off to our south and west and also to the north and west. 73 at the moment in Winnipeg where the Packers will be taking on the Oakland Raiders uh, later on this evening in Winnipeg at IG Field. Uh, right around uh, this time, temperatures in the lower 70s with a mix of sun and clouds. 72 for kickoff and just a perfect evening for football up in Winnipeg. 62 as the game wraps up here later on this evening. Now back closer to home, again, we've seen plenty of clouds throughout the day and at times a few very isolated and light rain showers here earlier today. Notice how those are starting to diminish as they slowly move southward. A little sunshine trying to return for northwestern areas, but for the most part, the skies are mostly cloudy. The good news here is that we start to see high pressure building as we head through the uh, overnight, and that will likely continue throughout the day on Friday, which will give us more sunshine. And again, here in Winnipeg, just a few passing clouds. Rain, not a concern for this evening. So as we look at future casts, again, some cloudy skies now, but we do see the return of a little more in the way of clearing skies as we head through the evening and overnight. High pressure then just off to our north by early tomorrow morning. A sunny start to the day, but we could see a few passing clouds as we head into the afternoon hours. But dry weather expected for tomorrow. High school football tomorrow evening looking fantastic. Likely kickoff temperatures in the mid-60s across much of the area. And then high pressure kind of stays around the Great Lakes region even through the weekend. That will give us, once again, plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday. It really isn't until on, uh, into the day on Monday where we see our next chance for showers and maybe a few storms. So a nice stretch of dry weather here over the next few days. As for tonight, skies will start to clear. Some cool temperatures in the 40s to the north. The rest of us for lows will be in the lower 50s. And then for your Friday, plenty of sunshine, expected low humidity, and some cooler temperatures, 60s along the lakeshore. The rest of us in the lower 70s. Out on the water tomorrow, we'll see those winds northeast 5 to 15 knots with waves around 1 to 2 feet. Your seven day planner has again nice weather through the weekend. Plenty of sunshine Saturday and Sunday, highs in the mid to upper 70s. Next rain chance arrives, looks like right now during the second half of the day on Monday. Maybe some small rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday with highs very seasonal in the mid to upper 70s. You can always get the latest weather information and forecasts and radar on our weather app that is free on the App Store and on Google Play. Nice night for a football game okay. in Canada. 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 Oh, eh? Canada. Hey, yeah. all right. We well, thank you. We're back in a bit. Stick with us.